Today, Dana Everyday Journey to Seram Island in Maluku began with a flight from Jakarta to the city of Amban. The Dana Everyday team embarked on an extraordinary journey alongside Bontid Hamakaro and Bontiat Hasino to the beautiful island of Seram in the Maluku region. Upon arrival at Patima Airport, Dev was captivated by the stunning natural beauty of Amban, located southwest of Serum Islands. Maluku, also known as the Maluku Islands or the Moluccas, is a province in Indonesia located in the eastern part of the country. The capital city of Maluku is Amban. Dana everyday purpose was to visit and connect with the Buddhists who live deep in the heart of the island. Throughout their expedition, they were accompanied by the Buddhist Ministry of Maluku Province and the Buddhist Religious Educator of Maluku Province. The journey begins from Vihara Swarnajiri Tata, in the city of Amban. From Amban, we travel by car to the coastal region, where we board a boat to reach the interior tribes. We quickly made their way to Chulhu port to board a ferry to Seram Island. Upon arrival at Chulhu Harbour, we rushed to the ferry that would take us to Seram Island, to be precise, Amurai Harbour. Tiket nih, ya. Tiket ke Masohi. Kita lagi persiapan naik kapal mau pulang ke tujuan B1 itu aja. Hai Dev, kita udah sampai di pelabuhan Tulehu di Ambon nih. Oke, kita dari sini Tulehu, kemudian kita akan menuju ke Amahai di Masohi. Kemudian nanti dari Masohi kita akan langsung menggunakan dan melanjutkan perjalanan darat menggunakan kendaraan roda 4 kurang lebih 4 sampai 5 jam menuju Atiahu. Kemudian nanti dari Atiahu kita akan start dengan jalan kaki 
menuju Gunung Pon. Mudah-mudahan nanti dari Atiahu ke Gunung Pon bisa lancar sehingga bisa ditempuh dalam waktu 5 sampai 8 jam lah untuk jalan kaki gitu. Bante gimana? Udah siap belum jalan kaki ini kita? Siap. Ya, sesuai dengan rencana kita, kita akan menempuh perjalanan yang cukup lama dan kita tetap semangat dan kompak dalam perjalanan ini sesuai dengan misi kita bersama. After waiting for about one hour, this ferry finally set off towards Seram Island. The journey will take approximately two hours to reach Amarai Port. During the trip, we were treated to a breathtaking view of the open sea that stretched along the entire journey. Upon arrival at Amurai Port, precisely in Masi, we hurriedly headed towards Aishiahu. There was something unique about the journey to Aishiahu. Yes, we were going to ride a public transportation with an impressive sound system modification. During the journey, we made a stop to switch to a specially modified vehicle that could take us to Asiahu. After waiting to change vehicles, we hurriedly continued the long journey towards Asiahu. We arrived in Otiahu in the late afternoon and quickly prepared our belongings while assisting in the relocation of supplies intended for the social service in Vaughan village. From here, we will be using a truck to reach the first climbing point to Mount Vaughan.
upon arrival at the location to proceed to the starting point for climbing Mount Vaughan. We were greeted by rain. The journey will begin by crossing the river and hiking through the forest. Unfortunately, it seems that the river has started to swell and flow rapidly, forcing us to change the travel route to avoid any undesirable circumstances. We moved to an alternative climbing point based on the suggestions from the local guide and people who had previously climbed to that location. Prior to that, members of the Von Village communities also participated in carrying food supplies for the social service. As the sky grew darker, we finally departed for Mount Vaughan. The rain intensified, and the challenging terrain made this journey highly demanding. Unlike typical mountain climbing experiences, the terrain we traversed was still very natural, with no established parts.
after hours of climbing. We took a momentary break to have a cup of coffee in the middle of the forest before continuing the ascent. Less than two hours later, we resumed our journey towards Vaughan village. And after an eight hour trek, we finally arrived at Vong village, which was pitch black by then. Welcome to Vaughan village, the highest village in Mount Vaughan region of Serum Island. This morning, we took a moment to share stories about last night's journey. Many interesting things were told during the eight hour trek to Mount Vaughan. Afterward, we hurriedly went to the house of the tribe chief, commonly known as TT, where they would perform a traditional ritual by offering Siri Pinang. The tribe chief, also known as TT, along with their family, welcomed our arrival warmly. Therefore, they will perform a traditional ritual of guest reception by offering Siri Pinang. Siri Pinang is a symbol of brotherhood and respect. Siri Pinang is present in almost every ritual of the Alifuru community as a symbol of unity and kinship.
Pendek. Pegang, pegang. Saudaraan, sebagaimana yang telah didahului oleh Bante Siri Ratano yang sering hadir ke sini, binang kekeluargaan yang semakin erat. Walaupun kita bukan saudara sekandung, tapi kita saudara sedarma. Here, we will conduct social service activities and provide free medical treatment to the community in Von Village. Their enthusiasm is evident and they are extremely delighted by our presence here to engage in social activities for the people of Von Village. Nanti kalau bisa juga nanti kita mau dana apa, Bapak Ibu butuh apa nanti kasih tahu misalkan butuh apa bahasa yang Butuh bis. 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 Ya misalkan uh, misalkan ada butuh apa, misalkan obat-obatan atau apa, listrik, listrik ya. nanti kita bisa bantu untuk uh, di desa ini ya. gitu. Soalnya banyak teman-teman yang mau bantu Bapak Ibu di sini. The community in Von Village is very enthusiastic about undergoing health checkups. They are delighted with the health screenings and medical treatment we provide. In the morning, the people of Von Village presented food offerings to the Sangha. The food they prepared was simple but delicious. And shortly after, the villagers of Vaughan who assisted in carrying the supplies for distribution during the social service started to arrive one by one. They helped us carry the supplies uphill, just like when we came here. However, 
The distance they covered was only about three to four hours because they were used to climbing mountains. And as the evening arrived, we carried out the social service to the communities in Vaughan village. Despite being accompanied by drizzling rain in the evening, we proceeded with the social service activities as scheduled. We were delighted to see that they warmly received the social service we provided. And finally, our social service activities for today came to a close as the night approached. Later in the night, the community of Von Village, along with the team, gathered for prayer and storytelling with Bont. Paru-paru dunia, alam paru-paru dunia, 
kalau alamnya dilestarikan maka menjadi memberikan manfaat yang banyak dan tertentu ya dan sekalian yang di sini juga mendapat manfaat memestarikan alam pun menjadi bagian dari praktek perilaku yang baik untuk kebahagiaan banyak orang. Nah, kami semua di sini memang tidak panjang umurnya ya, jadi akan besok kami sudah harus meneruskan perjalanan. Saya tahu ada hanyalah cerita, cerita dari bagaimana ya, pernah begini. Oh, perjalanannya seperti ini, ternyata nyatanya seperti itu benar. Ada tidak mudah, tidak mudah. Siapa? Bante Damakaro. Nah. Adik-adik uh, uh, pengen sekolah gak sih? Mau sekolah gak? Kalau sekolah itu bisa mewarnai, bisa bernyanyi Suka atau tidak suka? Bisa membaca, Di sini siapa yang sudah bisa membaca? Wawan, nanti Wawan sama Niken nanti ajarin Mau gak kalau diajarin baca sama tulis sama Wawan sama Niken, mau gak? Mau gak kalau mau nanti kita kirim buku, kirim pensil warna, kirim papan tulis kan di sini biar bisa tulis-tulis pidol. Ini altar sama wihara gagak nanti, jadi gagak. Terus kalau baca kari. And that concludes the series of Dana everyday activities in Vong village. We need to rest and continue the long journey tomorrow morning towards Yomotitam village. Our journey is still long, and there are still many interesting things ahead in this trip to Maluku. Stay tuned in for episode 2, Dana everyday to Yomotitam.